Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Where do you start? You want to achieve your athletic potential. Where do you start? You've realized that maybe your goals are based on some form of ego journey. How do you begin? Well, the first thing is to allow yourself to be a beginner. Children do this unconsciously. Children fumble through every task they engage in and they don't complain or whine about it or worry about it. But for some reason, adults don't like to be beginners. We're all grown up. And we don't like to engage in things where we don't have a lot of proficiency or skill yet. But if you want to get really, really, really good at something, you have to allow yourself to be a beginner. You have to allow yourself to fail and fall down. How many times do kids fall down before they finally walk without falling? Thousands. How many times do they mess up the English language or the, any other language they're speaking before they finally speak with fluency? Thousands, millions. But for some reason, we don't want to do that. No, I want to start at the finish line. I want to be proficient now. I don't have to go through the process or the work. Give me the, give me the injection, dude. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but it's about that process. It's about who you become along the way. It's not about, I'm now at the finish line. Yeah, but you still suck. You know, I know some guys and gals who are really extraordinary athletes, and I don't want to spend two seconds with them. Because that's all they think about is their ego goals. Can't stand being around them. You know who I like hanging out with? The people above my age who finish in the back of the pack. I like hearing the stories of the people who are in their 80s and they're still competing and running because it's fun because they never made it an ego journey. It's always just been something they love to do and they're still doing it in their 80s. Those are the people I want to talk to. I don't want to talk to the, the people that are all snobby and elite in the front thinking they're badass. Allow yourself to start clumsily. Take the first step and it doesn't matter if you fall. It doesn't matter if you make, look like a fool. It doesn't matter because you don't look like a fool. Do you know who looks like a fool? The person that never takes that first step. The person that regrets never having taken the step. I wish I had done this 20 years ago. Well, it would have been really easy to just take the step, but you were worried about looking good instead of feeling good. <laughs>